Hey guys, welcome back to High Yield Intraday Trading. I hope every one of you is doing good. So before we start discussing today's topic, let me request you all to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button here. Once you click on it, you will get the confirmation on the left bottom corner. Post you subscribe to my channel. Also make sure to press the bell icon and click on all. You will get the confirmation on the left bottom corner so that whenever I upload a video, you get the notification about the same without any messes. Also, I would request you all to subscribe to my telegram channel with the name HYIT intraday calls because I share a lot of things over there and it might be helpful to you in some way or the other. All right, so if I ask you, would you like to trade manually or would you like to trade on an automated system? The answers that I expect might vary from person to person, right? I'm very sure most of you would have heard about algo trading or automated trading or mechanical trading. On a higher level, all three of them are the same, though there is a very uh, little bit of difference between them when you dig in deeper. But on a higher level, they all are the same. So many people actually get biased when they hear about a machine that can earn money for them. Okay, because they are being told that the only thing that they, that they need to do is they need to have a system that a third party vendor can set up for them. Third party vendors like uh, Symphony or Omnesis, okay, uh, those third party vendors on a paid basis, of course, they can set up a system for you. And then you need to feed in your technicals into the system. And whenever the conditions are met, that you have set in the system, the system will initiate the buy or sell position accordingly, keeping a predefined stop loss and a predefined profit target and voila, you are done. So no need for you to be physically present to trade and earn money. Now, is this that simple? Of course not. Okay, so in today's video, we will discuss about algo trading with perspective to the retail traders and especially uh, with perspective to intraday trading. Okay, does a retail trader like you and me really need to have an algo trading setup and can we just or can we just trade manually and earn a lot of profits? Okay, so first thing first, let me keep my perspective as a retail trader when it comes to algo trading and then we will discuss the advantages or disadvantages of algo trading. Okay, so according to me, I do not see any reason why a retail trader should be algo trading. I mean, why is that even required? Okay, as a retail trader, do you put in so many orders or trades simultaneously that you are not able to manage your trades? Are you dealing with hundreds and thousands of trades simultaneously? Well, as far as my understanding goes, a retail trader who is taking multiple trades at the same time will not take more than 10 trades simultaneously. Chalo, not even 10 trades. Let's increase it to 20 trades. Okay, I mean, managing 10 to 20 trades at the same time is not a joke. It's a huge, huge number in itself. Okay, if I talk about myself, I never take more than two to three trades at the same time. Okay, so basically, algo trading is taken up by people who have a huge capital and the guys who take up hundreds and thousands of trades simultaneously at the same time. Okay, you can consider some firms that have hundreds of clients with huge capitals. So for that firm, it is practically impossible to place a buy or sell order for all the hundred clients at the same time for the same stock and at the same price. Right. So those firms opt for algo or automated trading systems. Okay, but when it comes to a retail trader, can we end up in such situation is the question. I don't think so. Okay, uh, at least I cannot think of taking 50 to 100 uh, trades at the same time. It does not make any sense, right? So this would be the first reason why a retail trader, according to me, would not need an automated trading system. Okay, now, second point is there is no one size fits all approach here. What I mean to say is, let's say that you have automated your trading system and you have instructed your system that whenever a moving average crossover happens, initiate a buy position. 
okay and let's say that for one of the stocks the condition is met and the buy position is placed by the system but this stock is not having the required volume and volatility to make some good moves in intraday trading so here you are stuck right now you can very well argue with me on the point that we can set a volume parameter as well in the system and ask the system to initiate the buy position only if the volume is more than 5 lakhs or 10 lakhs or 15 lakhs or 20 lakhs, whatever you feel like. Okay, but what if the volume got increased because of a news? The system will take up the order because that is what you have designed it for. But what would happen post the position is executed? Now, since that was a news based volume that was generated it will not sustain the upward movement and the stock price will fall in and eventually your stop loss will be hit okay so this is just an example okay to let you know what wrong can happen okay so according to me it is always better to scan for the stocks manually and see which stock is having a good volume and volatility and then see if your technicals that you are following are supporting the move or not. And only if the technicals are supporting the move, you take a long or a short position accordingly. Okay, now coming on to the third point. The third point is it's it, it's not that once you set up an automated system you need not look into it no that's wrong even if you set up the system to be automated you have to monitor it okay it does require monitoring okay and this is because there are chances of technology failures such as the computer might crash or the connective there might be some connectivity issues internet issues or power failures all these can surely happen you should not forget the fact that we are in india and in india these things which i just mentioned they keep happening okay and we as retail traders cannot guarantee that these failures will not happen yeah i hope it makes sense and you will agree to it okay now Coming to the fourth point that I consider to be the most important one. Now, guys, when it comes to intraday trading, I have always believed that the things that your eyes, I mean, the things that the human eyes can catch and the observations that a human mind can make, it is literally impossible for a machine to do it on your behalf. Okay, I'm telling this because in intraday trading, the minute of the things are the things that guide you towards a profitable trade okay see the automated system work specifically on the inputs that have been fetched in by you in other words there will be no deviations from the things other than what you have instructed the system to do but in real-time trading okay in the live market we when you are trading in the live market things are not like that okay the stock prices keep fluctuating and accordingly the technicals also keep fluctuating so sometime or i would say many of the times you have to take a decision even before the entire technicals are met okay and let, let me take an example and explain okay so we all know that how important the support and resistances are in intraday trading okay so let's say there is a stock that is going up and you see that it will go up further your technicals are saying that it will go up further okay so now you are waiting for it to retrace a bit and then after retracing when it takes a support at a particular level and again starts moving up you want to initiate a long position okay now here let's consider the support that we are talking about is the 20 ema the 20 exponential moving average okay let's take 20 ema as a support just a moment guys i have also uh made a small picture okay let me bring it in so that i can explain it uh more effectively just a moment okay here it is Okay, here it is. So the purple line that you see, uh, let's consider that to be a 20 EMA. So the stock is going up and at this position or maybe at this position, you anticipate that the stock can go up further. 
okay depending on whatever technicals you are using okay so you will not uh, jump in to the uh, to a long position at this time okay as i always say if a stock is moving up let it move up wait for it to retrace back and after the retracement when it takes the support and again starts moving up that is the time when you can initiate a long position okay so this guy went up retraced a bit and this is the point where it is taking a support on the 20 exponential moving average and again it started moving up okay so this green candle or this green candle would be the right place for you to make a long entry okay now coming to the system in the system what you have mentioned is when the stock retraces okay and when it hits the 20 moving average and again it breaches the 20 moving average in the upward direction initiate a long position for me but in this case what has happened is the candlesticks never touched the 20 EMA. So in other words, the system will never initiate a position for you because the condition is not met. It follows the, uh, I mean the system, the automated system that you have prepared, it strictly follows whatever instruction has been given, uh, given to it by you, okay? So in this case, the 20 EMA has never been touched. So the system will never ever initiate a long position for you. So what's happening in this case? You are missing a good opportunity to trade. Okay, so manually you are seeing in the live market that candlesticks are coming down. It is taking a support at the uh, 20, uh, 20 EMA and then again moving up. Okay, but since you are into automated trading, the system never fulfills the order for you. It never initiates a long position for you because the candlesticks have never touched the 20 EMA in the first instance. So the system, the automated system, it never knows what's going on. Okay, so you lose a good trade in this case. Okay, so it happens and it happens all the time. Okay, as I said, the system will only do the things that have been instructed. It will not do anything extra for you. That is the very difference between an automated system and a trade which you take up by monitoring it manually. Okay, so the baseline is automated trading can serve the purpose, but but specifically when it comes to intraday trading i don't think it's more efficient as compared to the human observations okay and also please note that we are retail traders and executing hundreds and thousands of trades are not necessary for us forget about the necessity it does not even fall under our scope okay because retail traders don't have a huge capital and most importantly most of the retail traders are making losses okay so automated trading is a far thing that we can think of hard facts but they are the facts okay we just look out for one to two or two to three or three to four trades a day which are strongly backed up by our technicals and trade them and earn money as simple as that okay so i really don't see a scope of automated trading as a retail trader okay also we need to keep in mind that just because we have a good thing in place we have to use it no if we have a good technology like automated trading it is not mandatory for us to use it okay let's leave it to the people who should actually be using it i mean things work best where they are actually supposed to be used and not where we use it just for the sake of using it okay i hope you are getting the point okay always think and take the right decision that will result beneficial for you rather than making the things more complicated okay so lastly i would like to mention that i am not against automated trading or algo trading okay whatever you call it okay but the whole point of me making this video is that you guys should realize whether you should actually use it or not okay as i always say the final decision is yours. My job is to show you a path that I think is right, that I think is logical, that I think can be more productive for you. But at the end of the day, it's your life, it's your money, it's your time, and it's your trade. So you are free to do whatever you feel is the right option.
okay so that's it from my end guys and as always would request you all to like and subscribe to my youtube channel and also please do not miss the ending of this video as you will get to know some more details about hyit that might be helpful to you in some way or the other and please feel free to ask your questions or queries if any in the comments section and i will surely reply back to them uh, to them and also please do not forget to like the video if you liked it okay so that's all from my end and i will see you all later hope you all will stick back happy trading stay back home bye bye